right guys, right now you're watching my rocket on its final launch out of my test launches. This time my test conditions are uh, high strength winds. The winds are fairly strong today, that's why I picked this day. The sky is reasonably clear too. With nothing to do, let's launch this. The sound quality might be bad though. Uh, as of now, no modifications. Let's launch this. Uh, lights are good. So let's do this. I see it. it it's drifting off pretty strongly into the wind. I hear the burst. Well, here you can see that I've found my rocket. And now, I've apparently, this is a pretty lucky day for me since the first house I went to had the rocket. And coincidentally, they were about to just throw away the trash which had the rocket in it. They threw it away. So, Apparently, I came at the right place at the right time. Other than that, nothing much to add. Everything's fine. Everything's held up. And so, final announcements before I end this video. Uh, this is going to be this rocket's last flight. It's going to be its retirement flight. And it's not going to be flying for at least a while, at the very least. So, at this point, I'll be moving on to larger motors, like the e-motor I showed you. And, as for comparison, I've got an e-motor over here. Hold up. I've got a pack of e-motors, three, and now, as you can see, this is a fairly large motor compared to the rocket itself. It's a lot thicker, too. So, pretty soon, you'll see a new rocket. It'll be new, and most importantly, it'll be chrome, so that I can see it better in the sky. And so these launches you can consider experimental to find the best rocket shapes for a homemade rocket. And so with nothing else to say, I may as well end this video. And like always, see you next launch.